Welcome back. Well, excessive heat and air pollution can impact your health. So tonight, Destiny Beasley shows you how to protect yourself. Experts say excessive heat combined with air pollution is bringing the ozone level dangerously close to the Earth's surface. Ozone is, when it's up high, it's fine, but when it's down low, it's harmful to the lung tissue. Jill Hines with the American Lung Association says this low level of ozone can be harmful to the lung tissue. So when we breathe it in, it irritates the lining of our nose, throat, and lungs, much like a sunburn of the lungs. In Louisiana's 2023 air quality report by the American Lung Association, Monroe metropolitan area is one of the cleanest for ozone in the nation. However, cities like New Orleans and Baton Rouge pose risk to over 800,000 people due to excessive heat and poor air quality. And so this would be the nitric oxides, the VOCs that are in the air from vehicle emissions, chemicals, factories, and the like. And what is produced is ozone. Hines says they are working on innovative ways to reduce excessive heat and air pollution to improve the quality of health. Things like lighter colored roads. We know that in urban environments, about two thirds of the surfaces are dark, non-porous. So think asphalt, dark roofs. If we can change those surfaces to something light colored, uh, those surfaces don't absorb the sun, rather it reflects it. And so we have you know, up to a 30 degree temperature change there. Other ways to cool down is using solar panels and increasing shade by planting more trees, which helps lower temperatures by 7 to 14 degrees. And she recommends planning ahead of the incoming heat, such as visiting nearby cooling centers. Some other things we can do in our home is to have sufficient fans, or we could use, install air cleaners as well to filter the air, take out some of the VOCs, the particulate matter, and the ozone out of the air in our home. So we have more of a clean room or a clean home that takes some of that um, damaging chemicals out of the air. And she says, be cautious when you're outside working or exercising. Our heart rate goes up, we're breathing faster, we're breathing deeper, and then that ozone that can damage the tissue of our lungs is going deeper into our lungs and causes damage there. In Monroe, Destiny Beasley, KNOE 8 News.